Uh, I'll start uh, with the fact that this is basically, uh, these sessions are meant to introduce you to your journey of two years, what you are going to have at First Time Our Business School. And uh, what I say is that this journey of two years is totally different from what actually the kind of education you had in your school and at your undergraduate level. There is a significant amount of unlearning that you have to do in the methodology that you've been following for uh, learning and education uh, all these years and what you're going to actually do in the next two years at first time. The journey actually starts with the, the interview that has been conducted for your selection. And uh, I don't know how many of you are here, those uh, who have been interviewed by me, because I do very few interviews. And uh, um, I, I don't know how many of you are those lucky ones or the unlucky ones who have actually been interviewed uh, by me. And there is a particular pattern of, uh, of the interviews that I do. And in this pattern, uh, I actually uh, test various aspects of your mental faculties and your, your knowledge. And today I will discuss with you uh, what and why this interview process is done the way it is done. And the important thing here is that when uh, at every stage in this interview, what I have in mind is, and what my other colleagues also have in mind is, A, what your performance is going to be at Fostima in the next two years, whether you're going to be able to absorb all that is thrown at you. Three, how you're going to be able to perform in the job interviews at the end of uh, your uh, three semesters at first timer uh, and four, how you're going to be able to perform in the corporate world, in your corporate career down the line. In that short interview of 15 to 30 minutes, these are the things that we assess. The first part of the interview talks about yourself. Now this is a, a, a most standard interview question tends to tell me about yourself. And most of you have actually mugged up what you are and what you want to say in that. You know. And um, when, I, when I asked this question to you, they, they just rattled it out, this, 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 this. So I have actually in my interview process done away this basic question about yourself. And I start with a different set of questions. In that, when I ask you for your strengths, so there is this, again, that um, feeling that is, which comes out in your responses, and that is that these are uh, strengths that you talk of in terms of your corporate behavior or your corporate performance or your workplace performance. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an honest introspection into yourself and thereafter what you are really good at. Your strengths and weaknesses that you talk in your interviews are totally at variance in most cases with what your actual, uh, actual strong points are and your actual weaknesses are. I find that almost majority of you are actually very weak in terms of awareness, what you actually call as the general knowledge. And 
more a, a whole lot of you are poor in um, or i will not use the word poor but not not confident in terms of your uh, uh, mental abilities of computing and uh, especially mental maths that i i talk of and then and the uh, other things two important uh, uh, two important uh, characteristics or traits which are going to help you in your two years over here and they are a your communication skills which are of course very very important part if you don't have good communication skills you will not be able to understand what is thrown at you like i am saying things to you and if your communication skills are not so good certain words that i use may not be understood by you and if these words are not understood by you the sentence itself will lose its meaning and if the sentence loses its meaning you will lose interest in whatever i am saying and my entire lecture will go waste it will go over your head and your being here presence will not actually add any value to you so communication skills understanding what is being thrown at you is very important and the second part is it's not only understanding you should also be able to convey to be able to relate to be able to narrate what you have understood so this is the second part which is again that's why uh, even you go into the corporate world when you go anywhere it is actually going to be very very important that whatever you have uh, uh, whatever report that you make whatever report that you give whatever uh, reporting that you do to your uh, uh, seniors whatever instructions that you give to your subordinates or whatever interaction that you do with your team members that these are properly communicated so that these are understood by the party at the opposite end so this is one part the second part is your mental maths maths i'll come again to this uh, subject of maths why it has its importance but then the second part maths and mental maths is again very very important important for the sharpness agility and alertness of your mind these two factors are going to be very critical in your two year stay here and in your corporate life thereafter along with that the other factors that i also we also test are a awareness which are also going to be very very critical as i'll come later in in the course of my discourse and the last thing that i test is your memory level a person who has a good memory believe me he always rises very very quickly very very fast and very very high in the corporate because memory is something which is actually going to always stand us in good stead at in any walk of our life when another question that i ask all my um, whoever i interview and also all the students who i meet is that why do you want to do pgdm and i i get different kinds of answers you know like for knowledge for this and for um, i i want to be a good manager etc you know these are the various kinds of questions uh, you give but none of you actually know that what is in store for us for you when you come to a b school don't uh, even those who have studied bba do not know what two years of post graduate education in management is all about and how it is actually uh done 
and how this transfer of knowledge takes place from the faculty to the student. One factor you must remember is that as you go higher up in your education, the difference between the tutor and the taught significantly shrinks. So when, uh, if you see, I am, I, I am an MBA myself, and I, of course, I have years of experience behind me, but then in terms of pure degrees, you are just two years behind me. Two years later, you would also be equally qualified as I am. The only difference would be that I would be from a different institute and I would have these years of experience. So when I talk of this different institute, which is the IIMA, and which is the, more, the most premium institute in the country, then I, uh, we, uh, uh, you would also think that the, this difference is there. And which is why FOSTIMA has been created. It is basically created to bridge this gap between you and a student of IIMA. I had gone to ITEL, some of the students who I met that I had been to IIM a few years ago, and I met, met the director and we, uh, he was giving a lecture to the students over there. And also there were many faculty members present. And I told the director, I am upfront on his face. That sir, what apka kya challenge hai? You are getting a 99 percentile student with you who you are supposed to be mentoring. That guy already is at a level which is here and you, you really actually, he's already a person, his intelligence level, his education level, his previous experience, his CAT score, everything is at a place that he's already uh, 75, 80% already ready. It's a challenge to hamara hai. Jab 60, 70 percentile, 80 percentile ke student ko हम मेंटर करते हैं और मेंटर करके हम आपके स्टूडेंट के बराबर लाने की कोशिश करते हैं एंड दैट इज व्हाट हैज बीन आवर आवर चैलेंज दैट इज व्हाट हैज बीन आवर कमिटमेंट एंड दैट इज व्हाट वी हैव बीन डूइंग फॉर द लास्ट 10 इयर्स विद आवर स्टूडेंट्स वी वी एक्चुअली रेज देयर लेवल अप I tell the parents, I tell the parents, okay, sir, aap ek kaam kare, apne, apne ward ki, apne bete ki, apne daughter ki, photo leke rakhe. Photo leke rakhe before he or she joins first time. Huh? And do or, or do saal baad dekhiye ga, ki how much change has actually happened in him or her. Well, that he or she is a picture, a bundle of confidence, a totally different person, ready to face the challenges of the corporate world. I have had students who have been in companies for one year, two years, and they send mails to me. Sir, I am here working shoulder to shoulder, side by side with an IMA alumni. And it gives me great pleasure to say, when I contradict this IMA student, that no, what I am saying is correct and what you are saying is different from me, but I think my way is the better way. And believe me, when he says this, it gives me tremendous pride in our student, our, our student who's there in the corporate world. I, uh, I, this is basically our, our objective. This is what our target is, that you should be able to perform, uh, if not immediately, but then if uh, after one year, two years, at par with any IMA alumni who, who's there out in the corporate world. So what is it that you should actually do and how do we do this and what is it that uh, the, uh, the IIM Ahmedabad has actually uh, uh, given me or given us what is it that we will give you and how we, we try and bridge this gap is what I'm going to uh, share in the next 15-20 minutes before I, I end today's um, session. Uh, let me see, there are just two questions here. Uh, Uh, okay, I, I'll take those questions uh, uh, a little later. Hmm? Okay, uh, 
So somebody has asked about the 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 knowledge session that uh, is there in the YouTube and the questions there are. So we'll take those questions uh, separately. And today is not the day for those uh, those questions and answers, and uh, not also the day for too many uh, stories that uh, I normally tell. Huh? And uh, um, mm -hmm. So I, I come back that what is it uh, that how is it that we teach and what what is this how do is it is it that we bridge that that gap so um, uh, um, so this boy Nivesh Agarwal who is actually put in this query um, um, I uh, I am reminded of a story which I must share with you today. Uh, and uh, which I normally share uh, uh, with my students uh, when they come to the campus, but then I can share this with you today. And uh, this story uh, goes like this. Uh, this is a story about King Solomon and his wife Sheba. I, I don't know how many of you have heard of this King Solomon and as well as Sheba, but these stories, uh, Solomon had, had a very beautiful wife, Sheba. He was deeply in love with her. And the story of Solomon and Sheba's love uh, is uh, normally spoken in the same uh, uh, same uh, way as though that of Romeo and Juliet, Shiri and Farad, Lena and Majnu. And so Solomon and Sheba's story is also of the same caliber, same nature. So Solomon was a great warrior. He was a king. He was an emperor, and he used to go for um, uh, to the battlefield and defeat the enemy and increase his empire. And this way, he had, he kept expanding his empire. But every time that he used to go to the battlefield, go for a war, his wife Sheba used to be very worried that. Um, um, that he must return back safely, uh, uh, safely, and she used to pray for Solomon's well-being. One such time when Solomon was going for war, uh, Sheba stopped him. She said that, please, 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 Solomon ji, Isbar, do not go. Last night, I had a very bad dream, and in this dream, I, I, I saw that this time you are going to lose the battle, and therefore, I don't want you to go at all. Solomon, on the other hand, he um, uh, he brushed her aside and said, you, know, you silly woman, you keep saying like this all the time. And um, uh, I, you know that I am a great warrior and I always win. And this time also I will win. And don't stop me like this. Let me go. And saying this, he brushed her aside and he went to the battlefield as usual, as like every other time. Solomon went to the went to the battlefield. Sheba was stuck in the in the palace, and she came back to her bedroom. And in the bedroom, um, she was resting, relaxing, etc. Also trying to sleep, trying to rest. On the uh, on the other side, Solomon he had gone on to the battlefield. He was there on the war front, fighting with the enemy, and uh, etc. Here in the palace, Sheba went off to sleep, and in the sleep, in, in her sleep, she again got a dream. And this time in her dream, she saw that Solomon was there uh, on a horseback, a bow and arrow in, arrow in his hand, a sword in the other hand, and he was fighting and battling with the enemy soldiers. Suddenly, an enemy soldier's arrow uh, came and hit Solomon uh, on the hand and his bow and arrow came down on the ground. Another enemy soldier's arrow came and hit Solomon's horse on the neck. Solomon came down on the ground with the sword in his hand. A third arrow again came and Solomon's sword went away from his hand and there he was Nehatha Solomon Zameen Pe Khada Hua Charon Taraf Se Enemy Soldiers Ne Usko Surround Kar Raha Tha. They were closing in on Solomon and there one enemy soldier came very close and in this uh, 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 gleaming sunlight sword 
shining sword, this enemy soldier's sword went up and swash, it came down and Solomon's head got removed from his body and torso and he died. This is the dream that Shiva was getting. On the other hand, Solomon in real life in the battlefront, as usual, he, uh, uh, he defeated the enemy, he, he captured some enemy soldiers and he came back uh, uh, as a winner and victor back to his palace. And when he came back to the palace, he thought that the first thing he will do is that he will go to his bedroom and inform Shiva that you uh, that you unnecessarily you were getting worried about me and I've actually uh, once again I've come back to you in one piece as a winner. So he goes into the bedroom. He goes into the bedroom. There he finds Shiva tossing and turning in the bed, sweating profusely, profusely. Uh, probably because of the dream that she was getting that I just talked about. Solomon took off a handkerchief from his pocket to wipe the perspiration beads from the neck of Shiva. Now two things happen together. Imagine a situation, two things happening together. The, uh, the beheading of Solomon uh, in Shiva's dream and the wiping of the perspiration beads uh, from Shiva's neck. Two things happen together and simultaneously and Shiva dies in sleep. Scientifically, a very, very plausible story. This is something which has been proven scientifically that what we dream uh, has a significant effect on our reaction in real life. आपने देखा होगा कई बार हमको कोई उठाता है हम कोई डरावना सपना देख रहे होते हैं तो हम एकदम चौंक के उठते हैं पता नहीं क्या हो गया वेरस साइफ वी वी आर नेचुरली इन अ गुड गुड स्लीप साउंड स्लीप और इन अ गुड ड्रीम देन वी वी गेट अप स्माइलिंग एंड गेट अप सो साइंटिफिकली दिस इज समथिंग वेरी वेरी प्लॉजिबल बट देन इन दिस स्टोरी देर इज अ फैलिसी एंड दिस फैलिसी is what I, um, I is something which those of you who have not heard this story think about it that what is the fallacy in this story so coming back to what and those of you who understood this and who have not seen uh, heard the story in the past if they if they can make out what this policy policy is then they can send a message to me in this now I come back to uh, uh, what you should actually expect in your two years at first time. Huh? And then the last part, I tell you what we expect from you in your two years at first time. Huh? So the management education that I, I just talked of uh, a little while ago is of two parts, you know, uh, two parts. The one part is uh, the academic part and the other part is the non-academic part. The non-academic part, people normally confuse with soft, soft skills. No, it is soft skills plus more, much more than that. Soft skills is your language, communication, persona, body language, and the way you present yourself in interviews, in group discussions, etc. But no, beyond that, there is a non-academic part of your education and which is basically development of your mind, development of your mind in a particular direction, which I will just talk to you about. And the academic part is the one in which we teach you all, uh, uh, all the subjects which relate to marketing, finance, HR, uh, economics, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So these are all the academic subjects, statistics, this, that, et cetera, which we te teach you over here. And then the other part is, is, is the non-academic part, which is um, uh, honing of your mental skills, your mental capabilities, your mental abilities. And how do we do that? And how do we do that? And this is something that is actually, uh, which gives you the, the problem solving skills and the decision making skills. 
Now, who is a good manager? A good manager is a person who can take the right decision at the right time, who can solve the problems correctly, his own problems, others' problems, problems of the company and the people around him. Uh, so so the, 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 the good manager is the person who, uh, who can uh, take the correct decision at the correct time. Those of you who've been, uh, who've got some idea of the stock market, they or any, any for that matter, any speculative market, they would know that, well, the, there is a movement of price which goes up and down and so on and so forth. And when the people who trade in these kinds of speculative markets, they, they know that, well, yes, you have to buy low and sell high to make profit. But then the million dollar question is that, where, how do you make out when to buy and when to sell? How do you make out the price movement? The price is going to go up tomorrow or whether it's going to go down tomorrow. And understanding that, of course, there are mathematical tools for that. There are mathematical tools for that, which we will come across when you do your two years uh, program, that which actually give you the way how uh, the, there is movement of stock prices, etc. Various tools which have been developed over a period of time and which will be shared with you in your two years over, over here. So how do we do this uh, problem solving and decision making skill enhancement in your thing? So uh, and that's one of the reasons why so much stress is there on your Mental, mental faculties in my interviews, and you have to understand that. And so uh, the education which is thrown to you in the, in, the, in the academic mode, the first part is that this is also um, uh, not merely theory, but then uh, the methodology adopted, and which is something which has come from to all uh, base schools, from um, basically Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad, and which is the case method of teaching. Now the case method of teaching is something which was originated at Harvard, then came into IIM Ahmedabad and then proliferated around everywhere. Now these cases that we use are the classic cases which have been used at IIM Ahmedabad and which are being used here. And in these cases, when we talk in terms of problem solving, the important thing is to understand what is the problem. In the, you will be surprised that when a case is thrown at, at you and a problem is asked that what is the problem that is being faced by the owner or the directors of this particular company, nine out of 10 are not able to identify what the problem is. At I am Ahmedabad, we used to spend hours, hours identifying the problem in a case, problem in a situation. And it was, we, we used to wonder that why there's so much emphasis. And it is much later that it dawned on us that, well, yes, the key is identifying the problem. Unless you identify the problem correctly, the solution can never be right. So therefore, if the key problem has been understood and identified, finding solution becomes that much easy. And then the solution, there, there are various kinds of solutions. And remember, there is a very little difference between success and failure, between the right and the wrong. But then it is that hairline difference which you have to actually identify and arrive at the right solution. So basically, this case method discussion, the churning, why, why they say that management education is actually, it's important to do it in the classroom in physical mode, because although we have tried to, in the last one year during the virtual mode of education, we have tried our level best to see that well, this is also done possible, as close as possible to the physical mode, but then the, the body heat being missing, the discussion being missing, the, the animation, being, the, the animated or the heated discussion being missing, that, uh, uh, that does not actually come. 
So it's basically the churning of ideas, churning of thoughts, which, which from where they emerge. Jaisi ki koi sagar ka manthan ho ke jis mein amrit nikalta hai. So that's what the, the case discussion, a, a, a good, um, uh, good, genuine, uh, serious case discussion uh, comes out, uh, brings out from the students and amongst them. And this case discussion uh, throws new lights into the system. Once the discussion is there, when you go into real life situation, then you know that, well, yes, this is what was there. And we have actually been through this kind of situation in the discussion and solution becomes that much easier. Your decision making process becomes that much easier. And therefore, it is actually very, it is actually very, very important for you to uh, go through uh, this uh, method. Another thing that we do is um, um, to uh, understand your attitude and aptitude and uh, to build it, build up on that. This again is a very, very important part. And when we talked of uh, the academic part of, uh, one more thing I would like to say about the academic part, the, the part of uh, finance, marketing, HR, operations, IB, etc. So we at first time uh, believe in what is actually uh, uh, a dual specialization. So this is one of the, uh, the few institutes, even IAMS did not have this, that we, we offer two specializations to our students or both of which are of equal weightage. There is no major, there is no minor, there is no single specialization. It's a dual specialization, which gives you uh, uh, two opportunities of equal weightage. This, because in uh, basically when you go into the corporate world, you re would realize that there are no watertight com compartments. Today you may be in marketing, tomorrow you may be in finance, third day you may be in operations. There are no watertight compartments. And therefore, if you have a dual specialization, you have to that extent, out of the four or five various verticals in an organization, you are adept at two of them as compared to others who are adept at only one. So, to, so your, your rotation, your circulation in the various departments becomes that much easy and your rise to the top because ultimately anybody who reaches the top must know every function of management in an organization. So the rise to the top is uh, that much easier. <clears throat> I, uh, I have talked of problem solving, decision making. Another thing that we do is we provide a lot of uh, uh, psychological support to our uh, students. We, we have uh, uh, the, the entire batch of 200 plus students is actually divided into uh, 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 small groups and each, each group of about 20, 25 students is assigned a mentor. And so, uh, and you, so, uh, and we, and the mentor is a senior faculty from IIM who would actually be connected, who would be seeing your individual personal problems, your weaknesses, your, un, your not understanding your subject, your, your, your selection, your choice of your specializations, all these things are something which are going to be taken care of by your uh, men, uh, mentors. And uh, so this is uh, another uh, uh, very unique feature at uh, First Time Our Business School in which uh, you will be, uh, which you will be doing over here. We, we encourage you to uh, look for innovative solutions to situations and be uh, in, the, in our part, in our part of uh, developing your, uh, your, your uh, mental faculties. This is another thing we do. We also encourage you to do entrepreneurs, uh, become entrepreneurs. We have an entrepreneurship development cell, uh, which is uh, actually um, mentored by Professor Rakesh, another uh, very passionate professor from IIM Ahmedabad, who, is actually, who takes you through your various projects, he analyzes them, guides you to see if your um, uh, entrepreneurship dream is being fulfilled or not. 
people people ask me at times you know that what is it that i am amdabad has taught you and of course and these two things that i i, I say uh, which is again problem solving and uh, decision making skills that have been given apart from that what is uh, actually been um, uh, two more things which have actually been taught uh, which i have learned from ima on my own and which i say this one is that i am amdabad has given me the ability to work and work i say night after night night after night till 2 am in the morning and be up again next morning and in class at 9 am sharp so this is something which actually i am a has given us and which i think um, you find you will find that gradually when you get into first timer this is something which will also automatically come into you uh, how that happens i really don't know but i know that it happens in all our students who are here and this is something which uh, is a part of the system which will happen to you and another thing that we actually uh, it has given us is a strong network which i am as given it given us and which is carried something which is carried forward by first timer and its students yeah, i um, all, all of you know that the name first timer stands for friends of 73 of i am on the bar and we when we were actually but you don't know one part that when we were actually sitting down in 2007 when we were starting this business school and we were actually search, searching for a name for our business school and we finalized on this name first time why why did we choose this think about it it's a very complicated name aap logo ne shayad pehle kabhi aisa naam kabhi business school ka suna hi nahi hoga and why did we know why did we keep such a business on such a name unconventional name we could have also kept a cosmos or a global or a um, any such name you know which is there uh, which a lot of other uh, indian school of business or uh, world school or any such name is possible why first time because we wanted to give a message in this and this message is that when yes Uh, one of the most important things in life is friends and friendship when everything else fails it is actually the friends which stand by you true friends will always stand by you in 1973 those of us who passed out in from first time in 1973 in 1973 we were friends and today also we are friends and that is the message in this and this is the message this is the legacy which is being carried forward by first time our students who are spread all over the corporate world they are so well connected they know who's going where who's switching jobs who's been promoted they are also connected who has resigned from his job who needs a job they help him with openings etc and that's something which is amazing uh, which is there and i am amdabad and which is carried on by first time our students those who pass out from here and we are sure that you are also going to do this when you are here so i this is all that i had to say in your in the like in a welcome address uh, today as well as and, and your expectation setting that what you are uh, here of course one more, one aspect that i have not covered is placements at first time our placement at first time our is a natural thing it's going to happen and um, it's i believe me it's going to happen um, um as per your capability or and even beyond our capability we uh, we uh, we we give you a job which is not commensurate beyond your ability and you will get that you get you'll get amazing roi at first time so focus on increasing your capability so that you if you um, uh, if you uh, instead of a 10 lakh rupee job you can uh, have a go at a 12 lakh rupee job or a 14 lakh rupee job we have had jobs at all levels who which come to first time up the only thing is that well yes you have to be uh, able to grab that the, the opportunity which comes it should not go a begging this is my 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 expectation from all of you that yes be regular in the class Uh, do all your projects yourself participate in all all case discussions actively proactively and intelligently 
and focus on your match, focus on your uh, communication skills, leave the rest to us. We'll build an amazing career for all of you. There are the three, four questions. Hmm? Uh, uh, there is a girl who says, I've heard about this story. Uh, there are some questions about uh, some uh, uh, personal questions about themselves, what they are. So they can actually contact um, uh, uh, Bhavna Madam about these questions and uh, uh, I, I shall uh, give the answers to her and that same can be communicated to her. Somebody who says I'm not good in math, somebody says that um, I'm good in so and so, so though somebody wants an, a particular um, specialization. So all these uh, things will, can be taken care of, right? And uh, so in the knowledge session, there are some questions and things like uh, uh, And uh, somebody says another, uh, there is a different answer for the knowledge session question. We will, again, I will get back to you separately, one-on-one -on -one and understand that, all right? One more question is there. Let me see. So I, with this, I think, thank you. Thank you. I hope uh, uh, you you enjoyed listening to this and uh, some you understood what is in store for you. And uh, I welcome you all once again and have a great time in your two years at First Timer. Thank you.